Let's look under the hood of the Route to Reading Avoid a Lemon infographic. You and the school can share literacy resources to help your child and others get evidence-based literacy instruction. Learn to spot questionable or ineffective practices. Let's start with decoding words. What is it? The ability to figure out unknown words correctly. If you're given strategies that encourage your child to look away from letters to read words, like looking at the pictures, using context clues, or saying the first sound and guessing. Instead, ask for ways to help your child use knowledge of letter-sound relationships to read words. Why? Kids who can't decode often don't become strong readers. Reading words correctly requires knowing how letters and groups of letters link to sounds to form letter-sound relationships. Look for appropriate strategies, tips, or activities that help your child practice grade level and literacy needs appropriate phonics skills. Here's a quick video that shows what a teacher might do to focus on letters and sounds when reading. Maryland third grader Xavier is sharing one of his favorite books with reading expert Linda Farrell. Ms. Farrell is going to help him focus on reading every word accurately. Can you read some of this to me? Can you read? Look where he hears because we saved the world from Flippy. This, it says here that scientists are going to study Flippy brain. Get the S on that. Studies. D. What's this word right here? This one right here. Flippies. Yeah, read that whole thing again. It says here that scientists are going to study Flippy's brain. Keep going. Dog man, I, dog, I have a, an important job for you. What's that word? And okay, read it again. Dog man, I have a, an important job for you. Can you read that? An, an important. Read it again. Important. Dog man, I have an important job. Okay, we're going to do this. Read this with me. An, an important. Important. Now do So read an. An. M. M. Poor. Important. Okay, now read it again. Dog man, I have an important job for you. Keep going. Um, One of the things I notice is that teachers often will let an inaccurate reading slip by if the um, if the meaning isn't changed yeah it's close enough M move on and that is setting students up for poor comprehension take for example a sentence like the horse got a cold if a student leaves out the article a and reads it the horse got cold the meaning changes significantly that one little word that seems so inconsequential a made a difference in meaning. The horse got cold and the horse got a cold is different. We never know when that's going to make a, a difference in comprehension. And we have to build good, strong reading habits for students. And that means as a teacher, it's my job to help my students develop accurate reading habits so that they don't miss a question on a comprehension test because they misread a sentence. They left off an S, they left, off, they left out an article, they added an article. Uh, they read present tense instead of past tense. They read, they read a contraction incorrectly. Um, all those can lead to poor comprehension. And we need in kindergarten, first and second grade, and even third grade to be making sure that our students read accurately. It's our responsibility. Who wants to protect the scientists? Who's a good boy protector? Who's what? Who's a good boy, good protector? Yeah. Who who wants to protect and and survive? And what's that word? Survive. Silver. Okay, I'm going to tell you that V is that E is silent. So what does that say? 
serve. You got it. So read that again. Who wants to protect and serve? We're teaching students, our children, that every letter does make a difference and that when you come to an unfamiliar word, you have to pay attention to every letter. And then when you read that word two or three times, it then becomes a word that you've seen before and you just read it because it's part of your vocabulary and you've seen that spelling before. And what does he do? Does he save people or? Yeah, he helps people. These are his. Next is learning sight words, like high frequency words. What is it? The ability to know a word instantly and easily, including ones spelled regularly or irregularly. If you're given strategies, tips, or activities focusing your child on memorizing whole words to learn sight words, instead, ask for strategies, tips, or activities that focus your child on saying and using letter sound relationships and letter order to learn sight words. Irregular word parts and advanced letter sound relationships are taught to be remembered. Why? Sight word learning is not based on visual memory. It requires knowing speech sounds, letter sound relationships, and letter order. There are too many words to learn by memory alone. Look for appropriate strategies, tips, or activities that help your child practice sight words matched to the spelling and phonics instruction she is receiving. For example, the unexpected letter or letters in the word have been made clear in some way, like with a different color or a special mark. Your child should also read and spell the word aloud. After words are taught, they should be practiced alone, in sentences, and in reading material. The more times your child encounters the word, the more likely it is that she will recognize it instantly. If your child doesn't know a word or says it incorrectly, say the word slowly while underlining each letter with your finger. If they are unexpected letters, ask, what sound do the letters say here? What letters make that sound in this word? Say the word again, sliding your finger under the word. Say the letters in the word. Have your child spell the word while saying the letters. You can find helpful information about sound spelling patterns in the resources attached to this video. Lastly, we have spelling words. What is it? The ability to write words correctly. If you are given strategies, tips, or activities focusing your child on memorizing letters or letter shapes to spell words, like word searches, tracing words, or rainbow writing, instead, ask for strategies, tips, or activities focusing your child on saying and using letter sound relationships and the right letter order to spell words. Why? Spelling is not based on visual memory. It requires knowing speech sounds, letter sound relationships, and letter order. Look for appropriate strategies, tips, or activities that help your child practice spelling patterns matched to the phonics instruction he or she is receiving. For example, this activity uses picture cards, magnetic letters, pencil, and paper. Your child should name the card and then segment the name into individual phonemes. Cat. At. Select the letters that correspond with the phonemes and put them in the right order. Your child should say the sound of each letter and then blend them together orally. K -a -t. Cat. Then write the word on paper. You can find this activity in the resources attached to this video. Thanks for watching this Route to Reading video looking under the hood of our Avoid a Lemon infographic. You can find all of our Route to Reading infographics in the Improving Literacy Briefs section of our website.